Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel Ray and today I have a sneak peek from Diamond Art Club to share with you all. I hope you're all doing really well and I'm super excited to bring this to you because it's from one of my favorite artists of all time. Are you ready? It's a Mandy Manzano. It's called Matchmaker's Maze. Look at all of the beautiful mermaids and merman. Look, there's a merman. It's a square drill diamond painting. It's 65 by 65 centimeters. So this is a square square. Yay! Let's get into it. I hope you're all doing well. I just painted my nails. So like opening things is really difficult right now. But I hope you're having a wonderful day and a wonderful week so far. Let's see what we got in here. We got the tool kit and the sticker sheet and the diamond painting. And that's everything in the box right there. So let's go ahead and have a look at the toolkit. Get in here. This is what you will need to diamond paint. If you're new to diamond painting, this has pretty much all you need. Woo! Look at all that stuff. I'm going to go through it really quickly so that anybody not familiar can see. This is a diamond painting drill tray and a stopper. That's what that little plastic piece is. You put your diamonds in here and you shake it, shake it, shake it, and then you pick them up with your diamond painting pen. This is the single placer end. And then there are here two multi-placer ends that you can stick in the end to place more than one drill at a time. And then you've also got this little squishy grip thing to make it easier to hold the pen. We've also got the wax. So this is pink wax comes with the kit, obviously, uh, and it has a little holder for it so it doesn't dry out. Uh, you will have to remove the plastic in order to stab your drill pen into here to make it sticky to pick up the diamonds. Then we have a washi tape in this particular kit. I got this one. They're all random, the, the designs, but that one's really cute. It's like little poppies. We've also got this right here. This is a cover minder. It holds back the plastic on the diamond painting. So you put one side on the top and this side on the bottom. It sticks on there and then that cover paper won't be so difficult to manage. These are some tweezers. So these only come with the square diamond paintings. Some people prefer to use the tweezers. I'm a pen person myself. And then we have baggies. These are to store any diamonds that, let's say you open your bags and you don't have a storage system. Uh, these are great for that. Or you can just work from a, a storage system or from the drill bags that are in there. Sorry if that wasn't very concise. <laughs> My apologies. It's been a little while since I have posted a video. So I am, I've got the first time jitters again but it is really gorgeous. So that's the toolkit. Then we have this little sticker that goes on either the box or your journal, wherever you wanna put it. And then we've got the diamond painting and all the diamonds inside. So let's go ahead and get it open. If you've never ordered from Diamond Art Club, I am an affiliate. And so that means you get a discount code on your first ever order. You can see that code down below in the description box of this video. So I'm gonna go ahead and get those diamonds out first. Pull out everything in the middle. Here are our diamonds for this kit. It is very colorful and there is a lot of black in there because of all the outlining. That's Mandy's style. So we'll look at those in just a few minutes. But first, let's have a look at this painting. <gasps> wow, that's so cute. All right, I'm going to roll it backwards really quick because it doesn't really lie flat when you take it out. You can either roll it backwards like I'm doing right here or you could just lay it down on the table for a few minutes, half an hour, and it will lie flat then. It's going to be a little difficult for me to get the whole thing in the one shot at a time, but I hope that this is good. This is the canvas. This is sticky, and this is where the diamonds go. But you also saw there are these pieces of paper in there. These are some instructions if you need some help. And this right here is 
remember I was talking about the storage system. If you have an organizer, like a bead organizer, you can use these stickers on those containers. And there are 65 colors in this kit. Wow, that's awesome. 65 colors and there are one, two, three, four, five AB diamonds. Those are specialty diamonds. I'll show you in just a minute if you aren't familiar with what AB is. It stands for Aurora Borealis and they shimmer. So here is the original picture. Gorgeous. Love it. I love how it is symmetrical in the middle and then we have all these characters. So here is the rendition. It is really cute. I love these little purple jellyfish that look like clouds. We have mermaids and mermen. There's a merman as well of all colors. Diversity is key in artwork, isn't it? So we've got some fish here, bubbles everywhere. They're really cute, these little fish. I think that this is adorable. Now, this painting, of course, uh, the the faces are going to look a little pixelated from up close, but once you stand back from this piece at a viewing distance, that's going to look really adorable, I have to say. So, just as a rundown, this is a poured glue diamond painting. All of Diamond Art Club's paintings are poured glue. None of them have double-sided adhesive. So that means it's much more flexible for where you can place the diamonds, move them around, and you don't have to worry about any of the rivers or bubbling that happens with double-sided adhesive, which is one of the reasons why I love this company so much. They have legends on both sides of the canvas to make it easy to find the symbol and the color that you're using and they have all their information down below here we have artist information and canvas information social media and warranty you can see more about that on the website diamondartclub.com I have a link down below if you want to check it out but let's have a look up close I love this mermaid right here look at her hair Look at how cute that fade is. That is adorable. I'm so sorry about the glare, but she is super cute. These symbols, I'm just having a look, are quite easy for me to read. I'm not seeing any issues. In fact, I really like some of these new symbols that, that they've chosen because they are easier to read. Though part of diamond painting is the puzzle aspect of it. Now this painting, if you were to ask me whether this was a color blocking or confetti painting, I would say this leans heavily in the confetti zone, uh, but it's not for, for a diamond art club painting, but it is not heavily confetti. You have areas of quite a few of the same color in an area, but not overwhelmingly so. It's not like the entire background is in black or white or something like this. Sorry about that. <laughs> I think Luda heard a car door. So without further ado, I'm going to show you what the colors are in this kit. If you'd like to skip ahead and see where the AB diamonds go, feel free. But I'm just going to walk you through these colors. If I can find where it opens. Yep. There we are. So let's go ahead and get down here and look closely Check this out. So the first AB diamond that I have come across is 141, which is white. Now the AB portion of this is that shimmer, that color that you can see. That is like an iridescent coating on top of the diamond. So that's what AB looks like. And this is the white one. And we have 712. We have two bags of that cream. 598. 677, 772, 3766, 437, 518, 3832, 356, 803, 
135 here's another ab diamond this one is more of a uh i like to call this pea soup green that kind of yellowy green color there with the iridescence on top 746 554 320 that's the first strip of that there get this one out of the way as well this is 310 one two three four five six seven bags here of 310 what's next what have we got here 772 758 436 699 939 this is a navy blue I'm so sorry the the lighting keeps changing because we're having a very changeable day here in Southwest Ireland. <laughs> 780, 336, 701, 754, and 600, one of my favorites. 783, 3823 704 all wrapped up 798 738 727 961 890 3778 740 915 3830 340 415 Here's another AB. This is 132 and this is orange. You see the yellow and the pink and the blue shimmering off the top of those drills. And 3708. And we have the last strip here. 318. Oh, I have an empty one. <laughs> uh oh. I'll have to contact them. 318, 948. 368. I wonder what happened there. A15, 552, 553, 3799, 762, 414, 900, 3753, 127. This is a peach one. So this is a peachy color with the iridescence on the tippy top of it. 434. 742, 126. This one also is an AB and it has that iridescence in its lavender color. 317, 778, 550, 435, and 433. Now let's see where those diamonds go. They do have, if that if that does happen to you for whatever reason, just contact customer service and they will send you out replacement diamonds. So number one I see here is that lavender color. It is here. It's also in these, um, what would you call these, coral? They're like bivalves. They're very cute. Uh, we've got one, 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 one. That is all. That is all the ones that I can see. They're not in the jellyfish. I checked. But they're here in the center and on these sides of this center motif. Number two is the peachy color. And this may take me just a moment, so I'll be right back. It took me a minute. The only ones that I can see are in the uh, folds here of this flower and on the opposite side. So just up here and up here as well. Number three is like an orange color and I can see that highlighted here and also here and in here. It's in the centers of this and here. And of course, mirrored down here in this flower a little bit as well. I can also see it in this fish and this fish. It's kind of yin yang uh, fish, fish going on down there. Number four is yellow. Four may take me a moment to find. 
four is yellow. And if I were an AB, where would I be? All right, that took me a second. Fours are actually, there's one in the flower that's in this girl's hair. They're also here, a little bit right here. They are also highlighting the seaweed up here. So if you can see the seaweed kind of moving around at the tippy top of this of this uh, painting, you'll see there's highlights of yellow there. Those are the AB, as well as down here in the leaves. I'm seeing it now coming down like this in the seaweed. There's some uh, here at this join and over here on this side as well to mirror this side. And last but not least is number five. And as you saw, we have two big bags of white AB in this. So it is everywhere, literally everywhere. It's highlighting a lot of the black. So all around the inside here, I can see it. We've got it in the center here. We've got it in these flowers like this, but then it's, honestly, it's everywhere. It's highlighting her hair. Uh, it's behind his hair, in her hair, around her hair, etc. cetera. Uh, in the background up here where it's very bright, there's a lot in the background up there. It's highlighting the centers of this oval part. Uh, it's all, in her hair, which is gorgeous, the silvery gray, in her tail fin as well. Honestly, I can't see a place. I mean, it's highlighting his tail. And like I said, her hair and her arm here, her belly, it's all over. <laughs> it's also sprinkled as you come out from the center top uh, in like these starbursts, as well as in the middle of these bubbles too. Uh, her bra is made out of the white AB as well. And the bubbles down here are highlighted. Even, even this one right here is a swirl of AB. Stunning. It's going to look great. I would love to know what you think. I know this is a long unboxing, but if you you would like to uh, leave your feedback down below. Let me know, what do you think of this painting? Do you like this? What do you think? Is this grabbing you this week? If you would like to see the other sneak peek diamond painting unboxings from Diamond Art Club and their affiliates, uh, I would recommend that you join the Diamond Art Club VIP group on Facebook. There's always a post on Fridays, uh, to share all of the influencers or all of the YouTubers links as well as Instagram links, I believe as well. So please check that out in multiple languages, which is fantastic. Thank you so much to the ladies that help us with uh, promoting those and making it really easy to find all of your favorite YouTubers links for their unboxing videos. But with that, I'm going to let you go for the day. I hope that you have a wonderful day and a wonderful weekend ahead. Stay safe out there, and I will see you all really soon in my next video. Take care, everyone.